Hey guys, welcome back to Life Daily with Shonda and Izzy. Here was our port stop in St. Martin. This was the Dutch side of St. Martin. As promised, I have footage getting right off of the boat once you pass through security. They simply scan your key card and then you can get off at the boat off, off of the ship. There was another cruise ship right across from us on this port on the same day. So I'm getting off. The mountains are in front of me. The ocean is behind me. I'm going to go for a walk through St. Martin. Here in St. Martin, I decided to go to the beach. So there was a beach. Actually, I don't want to get it confused. Um, there were so many beaches. What did I do in St. Martin? We'll just follow the video and see. I actually can't even remember. So I wanted to get a little shot of you guys from the back. I wasn't sure how far back I could go. So I was just walking a little bit before someone stopped me. And this is the port in St. Martin. This is the Phyllisburg port in St. Martin. So here I am ready to go to the beach. I, I just didn't remember which beach it was that I went to in St. Martin. So I didn't want to get it wrong for you guys. And you know, there were seven stops on this cruise. So maybe I got a little confused in the end as well about the, the ports and what I did and how I got around. So we're just going to get around in this video and see. Um, I was talking in the video, but it was so windy. I wasn't sure if you guys could hear me. I didn't have on a mic or anything. So I decided to just do a voiceover for you guys so yes that was the carnival vista also ported here in saint martin and it's not a long walk to the pier here so that was good some of the piers you guys will see were really far there was a yacht um docked here as well so there was a big yacht over there and yes now that i'm walking towards the pier i remember the first thing we did we took a few pictures they have these cute signs they have lots of shopping at the pier here and we decided to take a water taxi to a beach so that is what we did in saint martin so you guys will see me stopping taking some pictures looking at the pier getting some nice video footage of the backdrop of the island and then going to the water taxi stand so the water taxi was seven dollars round trip which was pretty good and it drops you right off to another beach there was another cruise again ported here so there were a lot of cruises at this port yeah um there was so the water taxi was seven dollars round trip you don't have to worry about getting back it takes you over to this beach at the beach that is right you know as soon as you get off the boat you can walk right to the beach it's a small beach there isn't a lot of sand but there are a lot of delicious restaurants the beach is lined with chairs so at this port um the chairs cost I believe for $20, you get a chair and an umbrella so you can rent a chair. I brought my pop-up cabana with me. They were being a little bit like mean to me about not buying their beach chairs. They were saying they rent spots on the beach for the chairs and they want that like that's their plot. That's their space on the beach. And they basically want everyone who goes to the beach to buy a chair which was a little bit aggressive, but I, you know, I'm used to being around Caribbean people. I love my Caribbean culture. So I had no problem telling the guy that I was not going to give him $20 because he does not own the beach. <laughs> so that's basically what I told him. I did give him a tip though, because I understand and I appreciate the hustle. And I know that that's probably something that they do have to do as far as like reserving a plot of the beach, even if they're not paying anyone because it is a public beach, maybe amongst the people selling chairs, they kind of work out where they all have their own separate space. And I was sitting on the beach and I didn't rent a chair. I did not need a chair and I actually prefer to have my pop-up cabana. So I did give the guy a tip. He asked me about four more times though, um, where his $20 was. So he was really adamant. He just could not force me to pay him because he did not in fact own the beach. It was a public beach. But as I said, I did go ahead and give him a tip and there will be women on the beach as well selling massages. So 
I went ahead and also um, got a massage while I was here at the beach by one of the women. I will say it's there is no real time. They're kind of just giving you a quick massage and they're telling you the price, but they're not telling you the time. So it could be 15 minutes. The lady was talking to someone else the whole time. She was very distracted. She's one of those people who uses her hands when she talks. So although she was supposed to be giving me a massage, she was actually talking to someone majority of the time using her hands. So I'm pretty sure I didn't get maybe a massage worth that I paid for, but I was also again fine in the islands. A lot of people depend on tourism to survive, so I did not mind supporting what they were trying to do. Although I wanted to mostly relax at the beach, and what you will get at the beach is a lot of people trying to sell you stuff, whether it's a chair, a massage, a necklace, bracelet, they have bags, blankets. They're they will walk up and down the beach all day trying to sell you something there were some people sitting behind me who were rude to the women and they were saying we just want to relax and that's understandable it's very hard because for them this is their livelihood but for you you're on a relaxing beach vacation and you want to go relax and you'll have these people coming up to you literally non-stop asking you to buy something so here is where I was taking the picture by the sign and you saw the beautiful tree. This is the pier with all of the shopping. I will say one thing I did not know, you should definitely stop by every single Diamond International store. They give you a free bracelet and charm at each island. There's this shop and they give you a different charm at each of the stores. So if you have seven stops on your um, cruise just go to the diamond store each time and you'll have a charm bracelet in the end with seven charms which will be dolphins or flip-flops or any be seashells any sort of beach stuff so it's actually pretty cool we didn't know this right away we actually found out on this stop which was I believe our third or fourth stop so we didn't collect the charms in the beginning but I thought that was pretty cute for them to have something for you to stop off in each island in each store and you get this charm and at the end of your trip you have a free charm bracelet so that was actually pretty cool so there was the water taxi stand I stopped by and I decided for you guys just to walk along the entire pier just so we could see how everything was all around this pier before I got onto the water taxi I have been to St. Martin before I've been to the French side this was my first time at the port and on the Dutch side well actually I've also been to the Dutch side but only to the beach I've never come to the port of course because I didn't cruise there last time I flew in so it was nice to see they have a taxi dispatch they actually have a rental car right here at the port too so you can rent a car you can rent a taxi you don't have to pre-book anything on the cruise if you don't want to I like to really get out and explore the island if I had never been to St. Martin before, I would have loved the rental car option where I am going to just rent a car. St. Martin has some beautiful beaches. The French side has some delicious foods, del beautiful beaches. A lot of what you'll find on these islands though is shopping and I actually don't shop a lot when I travel. I prefer to just experience where I am. So although I walked around each port and I looked at the options for shopping, I wanted to just take in what the island had to offer aside from souvenirs or items to buy and I wanted to really get onto the island and you know experience something that I could not experience anywhere else even if it was just the beach that I couldn't go to anywhere else so again I'm walking around just to show you guys yes loads and loads of shopping and honestly so much good stuff if it was my past life where I did actually shop a lot when I traveled I definitely would have been all up in these shops but I like I said I don't really travel that much and shop at the same like I don't shop and travel anymore so when I travel I just try to have new adventures and when I want to buy something then I buy stuff so that's two separate things now they're not kind of intertwined even if I don't have keepsakes from where I travel to I have videos and I have pictures and I have memories of the adventures that I took on each island so that is what I have um yeah so now I am just walking this port this pier was really big and like I say they have so much nice stuff to buy some of these piers that we're going to see 
from my cruise were huge but like i said saint martin is beautiful i should have driven through for you guys but this was a short pier stop and we had been on the boat so i just actually wanted to go relax at the beach and that's why i ultimately ultimately decided to just book the seven dollar round trip water taxi which it was about a five to seven minute drive so it was ride on the taxi very fast so you don't have to worry about coming back to the ship and the beach is literally steps like you just walk off of the pier that that the boat lets you off on and you're right there at the beach behind the beach there are loads of delicious restaurants which you guys will see later in this video so i am not going to like voice over this entire video it's very long take a look enjoy um seeing a little bit of what saint martin has to offer again this is phyllisburg saint martin the dutch side of the island so you guys take in all of the things that you can see here in this video so i did document most of what i did that day so you guys will follow along with me on this stop of my career.
Thank mm-hmm. you.